What's going on guys, Linus here. Welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Game Dev Tycoon, in case you didn't know. Now, this is probably going to be a pretty short Let's Play, so no worries there. There will be other games if that's what you are looking for. But now, we're going to make some video games, and that's what we're going to be doing. So anyway, this is the first message you get. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon in this business simulation. You have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. That sounds good to me. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Gee, I don't know. Can I... Oh, okay, I'm gonna play as a, uh... Uh, no, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I have uh, brown hair. I have, obviously, I'm wearing a sweater vest at any given time. My name is Linus. Let's see. What would be a good company name? Also, what's this? Oh, you can change the... Okay, I'm not going to do that, but it's cool that it's a possibility. Um, let's just go with a cool name. Gabe and Soft. It's the name of my company. Now, in case you don't know, this game is all about- it's a simulation game all about actually making your own video games. It's kind of a rip-off of, of, um... What's it called again? Game Dev Story on the, uh, the iPhone. I believe it was released on the Android as well. But basically, that game has been around for a while and they copied some parts of it. But this one is definitely more elaborate. The other one is kind of a mobile game. This is more of a complete experience, so I decided to go with this instead. Even though I can record iPad stuff, I just never do it. Uh, tutorial. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, then you can do so in the help menu. To access the help menu and other features such as saving, loading, and creating a game, simply press escape to access the main menu. Okay, thank you. You just started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage and you are the only employee. But don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Like Steve Jobs. Man, that guy's a genius, huh? Ripping all those suckers off. Anyway, let's start developing your first game. Close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay. Achieve- Oh, I just got a- Okay, then. I bought the game. Actually, I didn't even buy the game. I got a, I got a key a while ago, but sure. Uh, develop a new game. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Okay, so game number one. Let's see what I have here. I got... That's not a lot. Is that really the best he can come up with? Because if it is, he will be stuck in that garage for a long time. We're gonna play a... Uh, a history... A history action game. On the... Um, let's see, PC's cheaper, but the, uh, the G64 has more market share. I'm gonna go with PC for my first one, don't want to take too many risks. History action game. We're call it we're gonna call it Assassin Crid. There you go. We're, basically what I'm gonna be doing is I will be ripping off actual games throughout this playthrough. So that should be good. It's a good way to make money. So your graphics, you could say text based, but that would be super boring and you have the 2D graphics, the first version of that, so let's just go with that. Nobody wants to play an Assassin, Assassin Crid text-based game. Game development runs th through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Okay, then. Think about what areas are important for your game, and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. Okay, then. So... You know, seeing as it's Assassin's Creed, I'm just gonna go... I mean, Assassin Creed. Story is... is, is uh, eh. And the engine is kind of like, meh. Gameplay is important. Gameplay is always important. Let's, get, let's go with this. Game development has now started. While developing your game, you will generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. Very well. So obviously there's lots of text boxes and stuff like that, but that's only because it's a tutorial. 
So later on in the game, there will be a lot less of that. Dialogue? I don't think so, buddy. Level design all the way, sucker. Let's get. Let's put some more of that. Let's go with. Yeah, that looks that looks about right to me. This is gonna be a great history action game. So good. Look at the technology. During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its costs. Or cost. You will also see a graphic type you selected when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Obviously, because that would make no sense. World design, screw sound, nobody needs none of that. Let's go with the graphics sun. Let's go with a little bit more graphic than world design, a little bit of sound here and there, and go. This is gonna be great. We're gonna get rich over this game. Come on, give me the give me the bubbles. Come on, we can get at least ten of them. The development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your rating, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash and you can't afford to wait. Very well then, let's finish the game. Sometimes if you wait a little while, you get another bubble, which is something that I've noticed uh, when I played it earlier. Yeah, there you go, see? It's like a little Easter egg. See, there's another bubble. So usually I just wait a couple of seconds and then if nothing pops up anymore, I just go, um, because the time keeps advancing, so I'm done. Game is uh, finished. Assassin Crit is officially done. The development of your game is now finished. While developing games, you can experience and improve your skills. Okay then, when development is completed, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Here we go. I could still change the name from the looks of it, so that's good. There we go, that's my experience. I guess it's based off of the, um, the choices you make with the bars that you can adjust. So yeah, I'm really good at graphics and gameplay. Uh, trash. It's trash. No, let's release it. Let's get some money off of this. Your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming up for the game soon. Sweet. Let's do this. The first reviews for our nearly newly released game, Assassin Crit, came in. Oh man, please give it like a 7, dude. 5, Fun at State, Star Games. Okay then. Really, man? Four, uninspiring, informed gamer. Yeah, fuck you, in informed gamer. Oh, fuck you even more, man, game hero. You shouldn't forget about sound. Meh. This, these reviewers are stupid. They don't understand my... my game. After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate, generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. To generate a ra game report, close this message and then click anywhere on your face. Game history, that's probably not, is it? Generate game report. Oh, I haven't done this before. They must have added this later. Just released their first game of Assassin's Creed. Had a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious what game on soft will deliver in the future. Thank you, let's make a report. Oh man, 1,613 units in its first week. We're gonna get rich. Now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. Oh boy. Look at that, it's, it's selling even better. Oh, I've almost made all my money back. Our post-release analysis of Assassin's Creed is, crit is complete, and we got the following results. History and action is an okay combination. A okay combination. Sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. I don't see how, but okay then. Uh, idiot. Game reports are a great way to gain more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay then. Get research. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Try to develop games with different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. 
Alrighty then. So I need 10 for new topic. I'm definitely gonna make a horror game. Yes, please. Custom game engine is, is pretty expensive right now in terms of research points. Let's not go with that. And we're still living off of the money that we made that uh, from from actually uh, bringing out Assassin Crid. You have successfully researched a new topic. Horror. I love me some horror games. So enjoyable. Anyway, let's start developing a new game then. Next will be horror. It's a horror adventure game. It's called Memory Loss because it's scary. I don't know. Now we have some more money. Let's actually develop this for the G64. And obviously it's going to be 2D graphics. Let's uh, let's make this puppy. Horror adventure gameplay. A little bit of engine. A little bit of story as well. I get I get let's just go like this. I don't really give a shit. Let's let's get some technology points up in here. Is this? Is, I'm not really sure if this is doing better or worse. We'll go a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Boom. And we got ourselves a beautiful. Okay, Assassin Crit is now of the market. It sold 7,907 units, generating about 55k in sales. That's good. I like that. Thanks for the money, suckers. Recent market studies suggest that the Govador. G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and a flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Those people don't know anything. PC's the best. Master Race. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Yeah, I doubt it. Okay, I doubt it. Let's go a little bit of sound. We gotta have some creepy sounds and stuff. Let's do this. I want to pander to the casuals, so obviously graphics get a, a lot of attention for me. It's already a little bit better, I think, than Assassin Crid. Which is good. Memory loss is gonna do really well. Maybe we can ask some YouTubers. Wait, YouTube wasn't around back then, but anyway. Maybe we can ask some people to, to get some extra attention for it. Come on, where's my other, uh... Come on, give me another, give me another bubble. Gimme. Oh, uh, whatever. I guess not then. According to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. See what you did there? Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. I got it. We'll get some experience, so that's good. Look at that, it's a new record. Lots of experience, that's good. Oh, that's that's really good. This is gonna sell like hotcakes. Release that bitch. We're gonna be swimming in money. It's a good topic genre combination. That's, I like that. I like that a lot. Now, uh, give me some money. Memory loss came in. Reviews, you better give it like a seven. Have seen better, really, you've seen better. Can't we just, like, pay off reviewers just like we're, they're doing right now? Can't we get, like, a 7? You know, at least it had a dog in it. Seriously? Seriously, guys, a 5? Maybe a 5 out of 5 I could accept, but... This is... We're getting screwed, man. This is not fair. Memory loss, memory loss was so successful that we now have 27 fans. Okay, then. Thanks for not giving me explanation about fans. You know, appreciate that. Uh, generate a game report. Memory loss. Yes, please. Now we get some more research research points. Over 10k units sold. Nice. Got oh, research points. Thank you. There we go. I want to maybe save up to actually get our own engine. Uh, horror and adventure is a great combination. Gameplay seems to be not very important for this type of game. No shit. Platform genre match. Great. Adventure on the on the Commodore, I mean the Govador is good. Very well, very well. So let's make a third game. And that will be the last one. We're gonna make a business simulation. Oh, that sounds good. Or fashion simulation. Adventure is really good. 
genre match, action, RPG, simulation, strategy. Let's just, let's just, let's just put it on there. Or actually, let's go with the PC again, so we can find anything out about that. And we're gonna call it, it's a fashion simulator, so we're gonna call it Pants Maker. You can make pants in it, it's gonna be awesome. People are gonna eat this shit up. Today, Ninvento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. Very well then, Ninvento. We meet as enemies. Let's go with the focus on no story because it's a simulation. Nobody needs a, a story in a simulation game. That just does not make sense. I'm sorry, but it really doesn't. Maybe if it's a player-made story, that would make sense, but it isn't, so... Artificial intelligence, yeah, we need, you know, pants intelligence, obviously. Dialogues go down, level design is like, man, really, it's a simulation game, so who actually gives a shit? Nobody does. That's who. None of those things were, like, really majorly important, I think. Okay, we are the creators of Game Dev Tycoon for per Okay, then. Stop sucking up to me. Thank- Okay, then. Bye. Seriously, man, you're gonna send me a message? Memory loss is now of the market. It did pretty well, actually. That's good. Uh, graphics and sound and screw world design. In a fashion game? I mean, come on. All we need is just impressive uh, pants, physics, and graphics and stuff, and we should be good to go. And the game is already better than the other games I've ever made. Classic pants maker. And there you go, should be done. Let's see if there's another bubble. I'm gonna wait for a couple of seconds and if one pops up, then I can um, finish it. But I guess there's no bubbles, so let's go. Fine. I have to make some more money, cause I'm, uh, company's bleeding a little bit of money. New combo, ooh. Yes, level up in terms of gameplay. I like that. I like that very much. AI's doing pretty well. Level up in graphics. Oh, I almost leveled up myself. I don't know what that means, but sure, it's probably good. Release it. Let's see which of these suckers are gonna buy it. TS has been released to test. First reviews for Pants Maker. Please give it like a seven. Have seen better. Yeah, okay, I very much doubt that, but thank you anyway. Six shows potential. This is looking good. Oh man, look at this dude, a seven. Well, thank you very much, sir. Six. That's above average. I'll take it. We are gonna make a buttload of money. Pants Maker is already legendary. I've just finished Pants Maker and I'm impressed by I am impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business, and we could use skills like yours. If you are ever short on cash, just let me know, and I'll see if I have some work for you. Jason. Thanks, Jason. Contracts have now been unlocked. To see available contracts, close this message and then, okay then. So we can now do, uh, let's generate a game report for Pants Maker before we do this though. And then I guess in the next part we can start developing our very own engine. Which is gonna be magical. Our post-release analysis, okay. It's a great combination. World design seems to be not very important for this type of game. Platform genre match, great. So I guess simulation is a good, uh, is a good genre for the PC. Then again, the makers of this game would say so, because they made a simulation game for the PC, so it's not really fair. But anyway. Um, research. I'm gonna do that next time. I guess I'm just gonna end it here. Uh, you know, we had a pretty good, uh, pretty good run for the first, uh, video. Let's see, we started out making Assassin's Creed. Did pretty good, you know, made some money off of that. But we made Memory Loss. Did really well, we made a buttload of money off of that. And then Pants Maker, which got really great reviews, and we're still making a bit of profit off of that. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna end it here. Let's see if I can save. Yes, I can. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Also, just as a question, let's see, let's see. Let's say you actually like your own game development studio. What game would you make? Leave a, a, a Google Plus comment in the comments section. Fuck Google Plus, but yeah, leave a comment if you can. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.